I snatched this the day before I went to Sweden and uh, put it together with the other scores at the bunch in the middle where we are sitting with our soda water and glasses and uh, then we started reading and my eye was very uh, sort of gleaning towards uh, when Ligeti would uh, take music of the spheres because that was the work by Rui Lango, which has uh, enraptured me, composed in 19, I think, uh, 17. Uh, so early, 19, 17, 18. So early and uh, so uh, totally unexpected for all music at that time because it employs those cluster sounds just from the start and some uh, quite other way startling uh, things in the uh, score. Uh, so the, the, the titles, Music of the Spheres, is very unusual also to Lanko, I think. So this score is very unusual to Lanko. It doesn't remind of anything else of him. Anyway, then comes the moment where Dutch's hand took the score and began as we were sitting, you know, looking, it might be a bit elegantly when you got from such a bent bunch of scores and you're reading like this, you know, to see what is the text and so on. And so, so did Ligeti, so... Mm, mm, mm. And it was ravishing to see the speed, retardando, retarding speed of the hand turning pages. He began to look more and more from giving this overall glance and he began to study his side and then he began from the beginning. Turned over and then he was reading everything. And then he took his glass with soda water and did like this. The gentleman he announced to the startled woman back with him and me being not as surprised, but looking very surprised. Oh, gentlemen, I have to announce that I am a, and then he turned to the front page, Langard Epigone. <laughs> and what? It was a very startling remark from a, a very famous original composer, Ligeti, that he had recognized himself as an Epigone uh, from a Danish late romantic composer from the 1917. So, and then he began to demonstrate for us how the strings and the winds, all of them made those kind of staircases of tones. And it went on for, we could also call it a, a music of the, of instance, because our instance taking, uh, for, for instance, one minute, just being with a, uh, with a uh, rattling, simple, one minute, fortissimo. And you think the man is crazy, everybody can write one minute, you know, fermata, one minute. But uh, when you study the score, then you find out that before then, there have been a long, uh, very varied, held out uh, sound in the woodwinds. And if you computed that, it lasted exactly a minute also. So he has sort of heard this and composed the tones there and then putting Antichrist upon that. I mean, it was very uh, strange work with a far away orchestra was also and double orchestra also teaching. Anyway, it was put on the very beginning, it was put on the Nordic Music Days that summer. And then it came on a LP already that uh, in that autumn.